Professional and amateur storm chasers were on the trail of this tornado from the start. Greg Johnson got within 100 meters of it for 20 long minutes. This uh, monster, you know, you know, kilometer wide, half mile wide uh, tornado, and, and it was uh, probably one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. In its aftermath, downed hydro poles and uprooted trees. It tore the asphalt off a highway and damaged several yards. Fred Rayner's family huddled in the basement as the tornado hit their farm. Went right through how yeah. amazing that is. That it missed. The family is okay and the house is still standing, but the strong winds destroyed a barn, some bins, a cattle shed, and a chicken coop. About 200 chickens were lost. You could see trees, partial trees, going around and around and around, and then they were going the other way. Environment Canada says it looked like multiple tornadoes, but was really just a massive one that stayed on the ground an unusual amount of time, between two and three hours. We were right in the tornado. 15-year-old Dakota Radcliffe and his older brother got closer than they wanted to. They were driving in their pickup on one of the rural roads. It was dark, raining and hailing, so they couldn't see the tornado bearing down on them. Me and my brother had to put ourselves in the ditch with the truck to get lower so we didn't get scooped up or flipped over and we we nearly did it felt like hours as they crouched in their truck and prayed it was pretty intense a close call but radcliffe says he will storm chase again he may get another chance tonight forecasters say more extreme weather could be on the way karen pauls cbc news tilston manitoba